Hello out there, I'm coming at you from the Recording Arts and Technology Department at Cuyahoga Community College, and today we're gonna talk about drums. Now, we've all done recordings where the snare mic is plagued with excessive hi-hat bleed, but what if there was a magic method to reducing the bleed during recording? Well, I've scoured many online forums to find the best and the weirdest methods, and we're gonna put them to the test. Now, for each method, I'm always gonna use a Shure SM57 for my snare mic. You could always switch to a mic with a tighter pickup pattern, but since the 57 is such a cheap and such a common mic to use on snare, I'm gonna stick with that for this experiment. Now I'm gonna start off with a control group, which is gonna be my snare mic placed in a traditional position, and we're gonna use that to make our comparisons. All of the audio you hear will be completely unprocessed without anything like Dynamics range control or reverb. Now I've got a drummer waiting for me out in the studio. I've told him not to be shy on that hi-hat, and I try to play his rhythm identically every single time. Let's make some noise and see what we get. Now I'm gonna briefly give my thoughts and rate each method using the five star system where five is an improvement, one is noticeably worse, and three is the middle ground where the pros do not outweigh the cons. Pointing the null of the mic at the hi-hat reduces the bleed and doesn't color the snare. Four stars. Moving the hi-hat away works, but you have to change the drum setup. Three stars. The pool noodle technique is endorsed by Sylvia Massey, and I'm covering the mic ports just like she is. It doesn't reduce bleed, but horribly filters the snare's lows and highs. One star. The styrofoam cup doesn't really reduce bleed and it introduces a weird high frequency that I'd describe as sounding like your mic is inside of a cup. Two stars. Stuffing the cup with tissues heavily rolls off the high end of your snare and if you do this, you should tape the tissues down. One star. Poking the mic through acoustic foam slightly reduces bleed but slightly muffles the snare. Three stars. Placing foam between the mic and hi-hat slightly reduced the bleed and did not color the snare at all. Four stars. The towel did the best job at reducing bleed and doesn't color your snare. Five stars. Placing the mic incredibly close to the head helps the mic pick up more snare and less hi-hat, but you're confined to the edge so you get a ton of ringy and tinny tone. Two stars. Paper plates. Six stars. So there you have it. If you check the video description below, you should find a link to the uncompressed snare samples so you can listen and critique them yourselves. Also, I would love to hear your thoughts, so drop me a comment and tell me which method you thought was the best, if you liked any of them at all. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed watching and thank you for joining me.